Welcome. Thank you for attending this webinar. It's deeply appreciated for everyone taking the time out of their day today to tune in and listen to me gab for a bit. So I deeply appreciate that. There's a couple of things I need to note. Uh, first, Lightline will be hosting webinars on Mondays and Wednesdays at 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. And we will also be hosting a webinar on Fridays at 11 a.m. for the CEU credits. And they will be about a, an hour long. So Monday and Wednesdays, 11 and 2. Uh, they're about 20 minute webinars. And then on Fridays, we will be doing the CEU credits and webinars for an hour. So make sure that everyone registers uh, so that we can make sure that we have a spot for everybody. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. This is an open space. So let's kind of kick it off here. So today I will be speaking about the Lightline Forum panels and the edge and all the different type of mounting options that kind of go with it. Uh, I get a lot of times people ask me, what makes Lightline panels stand out from the crowd? Um, and I'm hoping that from this webinar today that you'll be able to take away a little bit of the value add that these panels provide to yourself and your customers and kind of give you a little bit more in-depth understanding of how wide the breadth of our product offering is within the form section. So here we go. So first off, let's, we'll, we'll kind of st start talking about the form panels and the flexibility within that range. So Lightline does offer the standard panel sizing that everyone uh, traditionally has, the two by twos, two by fours, and one by fours. But some of the options, uh, that are pretty unique for Lightline are the options with having a one by one, a one by two, bear with me here, like a one by two, you guys can see. Uh, we have 30 inch by 30 inch, 30 inch by 60 inch, and 20 inch by 60 inch. So those are just items that we have currently in stock. So what do we have in stock right now? It's we have stock in Toronto, which is our headquarters. We also have stock in Dallas, Texas, out in BC, and we have stock in Montreal. So that's about four different locations. Uh, we actually keep inventory of the form panel itself. So it's easily accessible. Uh, our panels to note are DLC well, 4.2 premium, uh, DLC premium qualified. Uh, so that allows for any kind of rebate, energy rebate applicable within your territory. Uh, the nice thing too, that with the form panel itself, we can do uh, what's called a microwave occupancy sensor option. It actually goes in the back of the panels. If you can see that little hole there, that's a little knockout that what we can do is we can provide a little occupancy sensor, which is gonna be virtually invisible to the eye from below the ceiling. We do that at our facility in Toronto. So, and then last but not least, a little touch point on this, all the panels can be tunable white. Uh, we can also do it with the Cassandi, and we can also do it with zero to 10, two zero to 10 wires, or whatever, whatever dimming protocol you wish to have on site. So reach out to your account manager, your agent, um, your RSM for further details surrounding that, because we have the ability to really modify the fixture at our facility. So the first thing that I always like to start start talking about is the driver itself. So one thing to note is the panel all come with a seven year warranty, driver and fixture. And once you open the box up, this is what the standard driver is going to look like. You're going to receive, oh, it's a little tiny, that one. What you're going to receive is an auto sensing driver that will allow for you to have a range of 120 volt all the way to 347. We all have the ability to pick your lumen package, which is going to be your selectable wattage. So you have 20, 30, and 40 watts. And then on a, on a two by four, you actually gain a 50 watt option and lose the 20 watt option. And then you're going to be able to configure the color temperature on site. So off the little dip switch, you'll be able to pick either 3000, 35, or 4000 K. And if your customer requires a higher Kelvin temperature, we also have what we call a high CCT availability in 4,000, 5,000, and 6,000. All the drivers are tool entry, pop open, and it all come with zero to 10 dimming out of the box. This is a standard offering from Lightline. 
If you don't tell me what you what kind of dimming, this is this is what you're going to get out of the box. This is going to be good for the form panels, the form linear, and the form edge. We also can do EM backups at our facility in Toronto. Uh, so that's just another requirement. So just we tack that on, and we'll do all the assembly at our facility. So now, that's just the panels. What the newest addition to the form family is the form linear. So the linear is really bridging the gap between the surface luminaire and a troffer slash a linear recess downlight. As it comes in a variety of the sizes, we can do six inch by two feet, six inch by four feet, and six inch by six feet. Unfortunately, I don't have a sample with me, but one of the most notable differences that the form uh, the form linear panel has is what's called the glare guard. There's a little call out on the screen there that's showing you uh, a little corner piece of the panel. It kind of looks like a linen finish or textured finish. That there is what we call the glare guard and it's actually specialized etched film that overlays the four inch light emitting surface to offer a subtle but yet controlled 60 degree beam of light so it doesn't really hurt your eyes. <laughs> Uh, let's not forget that you also will receive the CCT selectability and water selectability. Note, uh, you can also do the discrete occupancy sensor, also available with the form linear. Uh, the form linear versus others, so kind of what the value add with the linear is that allows for a low cost effective linear fixture for a very, very low profile and can be mounted in unique ways and which we're going to get into next. So as you see here, uh, the, our, on the screen you're seeing right here is five different ways of mounting the fixture. We offer six ways of installing it. So we have the trimless, recessed, frame, suspension, and architectural system here, but we can also do the lay-in to your T-grid system, which would be the sixth version. So we're going to deep dive a little bit further into the recessed, uh, other different mounting options. So first we offer recessed and trimless mounting options. So the recessed mounting is if, if you have a ceiling that is drywall and you want to mount a panel on it, we can provide you with spring-loaded clips that look like this that tack on to the back end side of our panel. And it would look something like that. I'm sorry for my camera, guys. And then you'd be able to do cut holes for every single spring clip and then one for the driver and allowing you to recess up into your drywall for a very clean finish look. Uh, always a great op op opportunity, especially if you're looking for a surface mount. One of the first questions I always ask is, do you have access to drywall? Because this is a great, great solution without having any bulky things on your ceiling. Another solution uh, for mounting is trimless. Uh, we can provide you with your traditional mud and adapter that would be installed into your standard insulation of drywall. Then you would have your clips mounted onto your panel and then you'd pop that into place for a, tr a nice trimless look. The other way we are looking at doing trimless is with what we call Precision Pro. Precision Pro is prefabricated drywall that are custom fit to our panels. They install like regular sheets, uh, so you would actually just block it in and then you would tape mud and then paint around it and then once everything is done you would then pop your panel into the, the open part of the trimless and then you'd have no settling cracks no popping um, a very clean level five finish without having any kind of concerns this is really great for like the form linear any kind of panel we also do this in all of our down lights and track so that's the prefabricated drywall. Uh, we will be continuing to address that throughout the, all the webinar series that we will be hosting on Monday and on Wednesdays. So there's going to be more details about that. Then we have the surface mount kit, which is designed with aluminum extrusion pieces that allows for like a robust kit that can be sur surface mounted or you can suspend it then that kit actually turns into a form frame system that allows for the connections of multiple panel sizes as well as integrating acoustic tiles and other downlight options to kind of create a flexible yet in a very creative design look. Uh, once again, you can add millwork, downlights, fabrics, media, uh, 
really customize to whatever your customers or client needs are. Sorry about that guys, a little technical difficulty on my end. <laughs> uh, we can provide the frame in multiple different colors to know. So black and white, we have brushed nickel, brushed chrome, dark chrome, yellow bronze, cool bronze, really any kind of custom color that you wish to have. We can definitely provide that for you. Once you have completed your design, I have to note is that you must be, you should be in contact with a, a light line representative that will help you do uh, a line drawing slash get your bill of materials ready and then get you a quote to ensure that you don't miss any of the components. Because I'm going to show you some of the pictures of installs and of where people have actually been utilizing the cloud system uh, within this. So here we have on to your left is our form linear, which is like six inch by four feet, creating a Z-shaped cloud uh, utilizing the frame system and suspension kits. And then on the right here, you're seeing a six inch by two foot form laid into a two by two grid ceiling. Once again, very budget friendly and a great choice to create uh, an architectural feel within that space. Here's another picture of an install above a conference table. Then we also have another picture of a conference room that's just utilizing the linear form um, fixtures also. Here's a little bit of a more intricate actual system that they've used here to create a more of a design type. So that's just how the cloud system can be transformed into a space. A uh, little recap summary, uh, the form allows, comes in multiple different sizes unique sizes that are like 30 by 30s or 20 by 60s. It will allow for you to configure your lumen packages and color temperatures on site, different mounting options. Uh, we can also provide you with uh, Lutron drivers, Dali drivers, emergency backups, tunable lights, uh, really whatever you dimming protocols on site, you just reach out and we'll let you know on that. So the next one that we're kind of segwaying into is rethinking troffers, which is the edge fixture. So uh, the edge, edge fixture has been developed to kind of challenge the traditional way we think about troffers. Uh, it allows for a, like high lumen output without interfering with anything above the ceiling mechanical grid. So I'm just picking up my edge here that I have. So the fixture itself fits perfectly into a T-grid bar system. And then your acoustic tile would just lie, it's hard to illustrate, would lie right on top, sandwiching the actual fixture. And then the driver would just be either uh, secured onto a joist or a stud or right beside it, like in a remodel application. The fixtures allows for, we actually provide one by ones, one by twos, all the sizes that I have just listed prior to the form. We also do that in the edge fixture here. So the one thing I'd like to note also is before I move on to my next slide is that you do not need to cut the tiles. Uh, you just lie the tile right on top. So uh, we're going to take a look at some fo installation photos of where we've installed them. And also we'll take a look at what it looks like in a tagular ceiling. That seems to be a very uh, critical question that I've always brought up to my attention. So here we go so this is just an office setting they're just utilizing the one by twos and just making a really unique shape within that space as you see here so the actual edge fixture can be used for general illumination here's another just another version of that photo and this is kind of a clear picture of the one uh, the one by twos being utilized and then here's a picture of the edge two by two fixture. Thank you, Miriam Andrews. Uh, and Miriam Andrews took this photo for myself in Boston. She is a Northeast regional for Lightline also. Oh, Don, you used your edge in your office. Awesome. Excited to hear that. Uh, this is what it looks like in the tegular system. As you see, we've not cut the tile. We've literally just slid the, the panel in, put the acoustic tile right on top. So it just shows you that it won't sit flush to the system. It's different from the integral systems that you're seeing out right now where they're actually integral to the t-grid this is exactly just like uh laying in a panel like a two by two panel so 
Oh, you did cut the tiles, but it was easy. Okay, so good to know. Thanks, Don. What we have here is just another office setting. Uh, we just went in, this is in Boston. We just went in, did a quick little remodel of the office. Uh, and then they allowed us to take some photos. As you see, they're using this as their general illumination. Oh, this is your office. Oh, congrats, awesome. So I used your photos, Don. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam and Don. And as you see here, this is a part of that office also. So here we go. And then we have the, the green acoustic tiles too. So it shows that you can put some different colors within that space. Uh, you don't have to just limit yourself to just uh, an acoustic tile. You can go ahead and use different types of fabrics on top to create more of a dimensional feel. And that is kind of me wrapping that up. 